In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I like to recommend to go ahead and absolutely bag the gun tight offense. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day uh, that can help you become a better Madden player. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Also wanna let you know that I am going to be giving you a little bit of a sneak peek of my uh, defense that I'm working on under the hood. That is the nickel normal. I think the nickel normal gives you a lot of possibilities. You can do this out of other plays that aren't the nickel normal, but the nickel normal is a very good uh, play and we're gonna show why it really helps uh, when defending something like a gun tight slot style uh, of approach to offense. Now guys, I just have to tell you personally I hate and I mean I hate whenever I see somebody audible to tight slots out of the gun bunch or I see somebody coming out in tight offset I really don't like that offense I don't like to run it personally and I really don't like to defend it because I think it's very challenging um, it, it presents some really unique challenges the crossers get really deep down the field match coverage doesn't really work against it in a great way it's really easily manipulated and match um, just put two crossers on the field and more than likely you're going to be able to get somebody open um, it's just a very difficult uh, offense in my personal opinion uh, to from for me to get my head around from a defensive perspective and so uh, I, I've been labbing a ton uh, against it and I've got something for you today that I actually feel relatively confident could be probably the best defense for gun tight now that being said guys I do want to encourage you um, this is this this concept uh, the nickel normal defense will be in our patreon membership so if you've not joined the patreon yet you could join the patreon today for just 10 bucks for just 10 bucks a month you're gonna get instant access to every single ebook that I've released so far in the Madden season, which right now we've released 13 ebooks already, eight on defense and uh, five on offense. But then you're also going to get access to anything new. And so uh, I'm going to be putting a, a little bit more of an expanded version of this compression defense uh, in our ebook or in the Patreon this week. And I'm also going to be putting the nickel normal defense in there over the course of some time in the next seven days. I've been labbing a ton and I feel like I've got something that's actually really, 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 really good. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go to nickel normal. You want to put cover four quarters in your audibles. Most of you have nickel normal. If you're running the the um, um, the four six playbook, you will have it. I'm actually running the San Francisco playbook right now. I'm kind of labbing this cover three buzz match weak defense, very good defense for bunch, uh, which we're going to be going over in our nickel normal ebook. But anyways, put the cover four quarters in your audibles. And what you want to do is you want to come out in this double safety blitz. Now, the reason we want to come out in the double safety blitz, whenever you come out in safety blitz, um, that safety that is blitzing will oftentimes, if you don't do anything to your pre-snap uh, adjustments, like you don't press, you don't do anything like that, they're going to walk down into the box. Why would this be beneficial against compression? Well, it's beneficial against compression, number one, because it significantly helps us when we're talking about disguising our coverages. Uh, one of my other favorite little plays to put in my audibles is the Nickel Blitz 2. I like the Overstorm Brave as a man-to-man kind of concept. And then you could put maybe the Cover 6 or Cover 3, whatever you want to do with that, that, that fourth slot. But these three are really, really important for this defense, okay? So anyways, all that to say, we're gonna come out in double safety blitz. You're gonna notice that the safeties are gonna come down. We're gonna then audible almost every single time into cover four quarters. And I'm gonna show you the adjustments that I like to do. We're gonna start with this play flood. Flood is one of the best plays, probably the most pop most popular play if they're audibling into this from bunch. Actually, I'm sorry, one, one second. Let me walk you through my coaching settings real quickly here so that you can kind of get a grasp for what we're gonna to try to do. So in my coaching adjustments, you see here I have auto flip on auto alignment to base, ball and air defense to play ball, option defense on conservative, and really important, here's your zone drops. Flats on 30, curl flats. You could put these on five, okay? And if they're gonna attack the flat on me all the time, I will put them on five. I like to try to get away with them on 10. If they're gonna commit to throwing the flat on both sides, I will put that on five, but I like to start out at 10 because it's gonna help me with curls, it's gonna help me with slants very much so and then hook curls we're going to put those on five that is primarily so we can try to stop some drags and some little you know mainly drags is what we're trying to, to take away with that okay so double safety blitz we're going to come out in that i'm going to come out in flood now you see how they walk down now 
What we want to do is we want to immediately audible to cover four quarters. Notice that nobody moves. Nobody moves on the defense. Really, really important. Then from there, what I like to do is I like to, you have to manually pinch your D-line and manually pinch your linebacker. So you see we create this look. And then really, really important, if you don't do this step, the your blitz is or your uh, your pressure is not going to be very effective and also your run defense really isn't going to be that effective either crash your defensive line out it's going to significantly help you get better sheds and it's going to help you in the run defense then what we're going to do is we are going to take this defensive tackle and put him on a bluff blitz the reason we're going to do that is because what you're going to notice is he is going to significantly help us kind of work to the running back side a little bit we're then going to take the other defensive tackle, and you could really put him on whatever you want, but my personal recommendation would be to QB spy him. The reason I like to QB spy him is because it's going to help me with people who like to roll out of the pocket. I could just send the spy, and it, it, it's a must-have, in my opinion, right now in Madden 22. And then lastly, you want to grab on to Winfield, as you can see, and put him on a blitz. Now, with this base setup right here, this is kind of what I'll use to feel my opponent out. However, another little thing that you could do is you could put both of your outside corners on cloud flats. But if you're going to do that, please, please listen to me. Do not press them. It's really important that you don't press them. You want to leave them backed off. In fact, you can actually manually back them off a little bit more, and that's going to significantly help you when trying to defend the deep, deep crossers that exist in the tight slots okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run kind of a meta way that people like to run this as you can see something like this very you know very popular and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up to this side okay if I, the cool part is the, the seam streaks are not going to be open but what you're going to see is i'm going to open over here now i want you to watch you see how fast the pressure comes in but i also want you to really look closely at something that I want to share with you. The quarters coverage, and it's really important that it's quarters. If it's cover four drop, you can use that, but it really doesn't work as well. What you're going to see in cover four quarters is you're going to see right here that this inside quarter defender it is going to do a really good job. If you take a look here, he's going to bail uh, to that. Now, if I waited on that a little bit more, you would have probably seen him bail a little bit better, but he's typically going to bail uh, to that side. So that's something that I think is really, really important. Uh, this slant flat combo, what you can do to make it, so you see how the quarter flat kind of stayed inside. If you put him in a curl flat, he'll typically go a little bit more to the outside. That's also why I like to put this three rec. Notice this three rec is actually in man to man on the running back. Why I like that a lot. Um, it is the best thing that I have found for uh, a seam wheel or a wheel to the back. So let me show you. I'm going to go to this mesh spot play, and we're going to kind of run this kind of the meta way. Something like this is very popular. Uh, you see this all the time. And basically what we're going to do here is, again, we're going to audible to quarters. We're going to uh, pinch our D-line, pinch our linebackers, crash up, bluff blitz the defensive tackle on the left, QB spy the defensive tackle on the right, make sure that you blitz your user, and then you're just going to put – um, your uh, your cloud flats out there if you want them. If you don't, leave them in quarters. It's fine. And what you'll see is if you watch this nose tackle, he didn't go there, but you see how I can kind of see how I'm free. I'm freed up. My user is freed up to go to that back for a split second before because we have the quarters. There's no seam. We can't get burned in the seam streak department. That's one of the main reasons why I really like this defense is because I can't get killed. Uh, I can't get killed up the seams. Now, I also want to spend a few minutes talking about this four verticals play. And the reason why I want to talk about this four verticals play is because I think this is something that makes compression and tight slots so hard, in my personal opinion, uh, to be able to stop. And so I'm going to set up my defense exactly the same as I've been setting it up, but I want to show you this four verticals. What you're going to see against someone, especially if they know what they're doing, they are going to flat brown and they're going to have uh, Gronkowski on this wheel. So it might look something like this, for example. And they're going to try to hit this wheel up into that seam area of the field. Maybe on the backside, you could, you, you know, I don't, I'm not, you know, again, you might have like an in route 
I don't know. You're gonna have something, okay? But in general, you're gonna get something like this. It's a very good route combination. You know, you might get uh, something like a back to the flat and a post. Be a great route combination to use, okay? Uh, when you get this, I just want you to kind of watch uh, how this is going to play this. So again, we're gonna open here, we see this, and take a look at that. See how he's in that window? Now, yes, I was able to hit it late, but if, if I try to snap throw it, which the timing uh, is what they're gonna, again, you wanna try to throw off their timing. A lot of people that run compression, they're going to try to simply throw this right there. And you see how that guy is there? So they have to wait on it and throw it here. Well, my user is coming right into this area. Obviously, I didn't have a great lurk there because I was trying to throw it, but you see my user could come into this area very easily. If I'm over here, again, I wanna show you this real quick. You're going to see that this guy is going to do a very good job on that wheel to that side. So we have the, the, the curl flat at 10 is what helps us with something like this concept. Obviously, you have your inside quarters as well that are gonna do a very good job at defending this. Another way that you could handle this, uh, something like this com, uh, this concept, this is to me what makes a, uh, a good tight slots type of approach. Uh, very difficult because if I come out in flood, if I come out in the play flood, uh, what you're going to see here is that there's really not, if it, for example, so if I'm in four verticals, look who's on the wheel. Okay, now notice this, I can motion, uh, I can motion either one of these guys to the outside. Okay, just, just trying to give you that idea. Okay, so if I go to flood now, look at this real quick. You're gonna notice that he is the guy that I'm gonna streak if I wanna try to get this clear out uh, to Mike Evans. Okay, so I don't, man coverage doesn't really give me a lot of value. If I man up triangle, it's, it's okay, but it's not really gonna help me. Um, with the route combinations that they're going to be doing from this formation, there's really no advantage to manning him up. So that's where I'm saying try to use her as much as you can uh, within those wheels and use those curl flats as something that will pull the zones. Another thing that you can do uh, for this four verticals style of approach is I want you to watch and just kind of quickly here, just going to go through this uh, one more time, but I just want you to see this real quick. So um, you know, let's say we have, you know, kind of our coverage set up like this, so to speak. Um, and then what you're going to see here from four verticals is let's say that we do double uh, seam wheels. Just say hypothetically somebody does that. What you're going to see is if we it, you see that right there, see how they're going to throw those into those cloud flats and into those inside quarters. And I'll show that in instant replay. That's one of the other benefits as to why I like this so much. So again, let me jump in instant replay here. And what you're gonna see is this guy's on a flat, this guy's on a wheel. So at this point right here, yes, they can throw that real tight. It's a real tight window. They can hit this window right here. But if they pass lead this up, look who they're throwing this into. They're throwing this right into him and they're throwing this right into him. Especially if, for example, uh, we put both of these guys, we went to uh, our cover two version of this and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say we come out in, in double safety blitz and let's say we audible to Dickel Blitz 2 now. Now what you're gonna see is we're gonna just simply hard flat just exactly the same, except now we've got deep half zones on the field. Now if you watch that seam, because they're in the box, right? That's the big big takeaway is they're in the box. But if you watch these seam wheels now, you're going to see that that is not really available, okay? So uh, the bottom line is, guys, that is how I would recommend defending the gun tight offense. Um, those clouds will do a really good job because they're backed up. If you press them, they're not going to be that good uh, against, against compression. But uh, if you don't press them, then you're going to be just fine. So thanks for watching the video. If you are going uh, to grab that Patreon membership, I would really encourage you to do that because you're going to go a little bit more in depth than we did in this video. Kind of, I actually have a gameplay that I'm going to talk about with this. But this offense to me is one of the most scary offenses to defend. This right here is the best way I've found to defend it. The thing I wanted to say before I, before I take off is if you defend it like this, you will be surprised how much pressure you get. That two-man rush is really, really good. You're gonna get good sheds, so trust me on that. But again, if you wanna learn more about this specific defense, 
or if you just want to take your Madden game to the next level by joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get access to absolutely everything that I've got for Madden 22, over 13 eBooks, several exclusive tips, pro player film studies, and all of that stuff for just 10 bucks. For just $10 a month, you're going to get access to all of that. So link is in the description if you want to join the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you guys next time.